Camera number 105 of 365, and it's the Pentax SFXN, a fully uh, automatic camera, and so it requires batteries to operate. So let's just go ahead and put batteries in first of all. So I say batteries, but it is actually only one battery, a 2CR5, that's placed in this uh, cradle, and then we can reattach it to the camera. And put it back on. There we go. Turning to the front of the camera, to release the lens uh, from the body of the camera, we just simply press depress the lens release button. Now, this particular lens is a Pentax uh, 35 mm to 80 mm FA lens. And then on the other side of the camera, we have uh, a little port here that's uh, hidden by the cover, which enables us to attach a cable release, electronic cable release. And then we can select our focus modes uh, from manual, servo or continuous, and then uh, single mode. Just put the lens back onto the camera. And I'm just going to make sure that the lens is set to A, uh, because then we can uh, demonstrate the auto focus and also the different uh, um, auto modes. So looking at the top plate, it's dominated by this uh, crystal, crystal, liquid crystal display. And the camera is turned on with this button, which also has uh, another setting to have uh, audible beeps when we activate the camera. Uh, we have uh, under this cover a hot shoe that enables us to put an adapter. We can then take the flash off the camera if we so desire. Uh, the camera does actually have its own flash, just on the top here. It's uh, released with this yellow button. And then going to the other side, we have uh, four options here. Um, uh, and they're used in conjunction with this rocker button, the up and down arrows, just below the shutter actuation button. So we have uh, exposure compensation if we push it to the top and rock the button. Uh, we could go down and we choose our ISO. The camera does feature uh, DX coded or coding, so the camera will set the film correct film speed, but we can override that if we so desire. And then uh, our drive mode, if we press that down, we can go through a self timer, uh, single and continuous um, driving mode, and then uh, we have uh, bracketing set. Uh, turning the moving the button up, uh, we've got the pro camera currently set to uh, A, it's program mode. Uh, the camera will set the correct exposure and uh, correct aperture and shutter speed, dependent presumably on the focal length and where the camera focuses on. It's not shiftable, that pro program mode at all. Yeah. If we move it up and uh, push it again, we have uh, infinity mode. Presumably it will choose uh, apertures like f11, 16, so that everything's in focus. And then if we push it again and move it again, we have auto mode. Now this is a shiftable program mode where we can change the uh, shutter speed and then the camera will obviously change the aperture. And then uh, we have sports mode. And then we return back to normal mode. I think there's a couple of programs within that normal mode uh, which we can choose as well. If we move the lens off A, uh, the camera now changes to an aperture priority camera and so we choose the aperture and the camera will respond with uh, setting the correct shutter speed. If we move the dial up again uh, we can go into full manual mode where we can choose both aperture and shutter speed by using the dial. And then uh, I think that's it as far as programs go. Yep, that's it. Okay. Uh, we do have a factory reset button just here, the C, which if we press that will set everything back. And then we have a memory lock, and if pressed again, it will illuminate the liquid crystal display. So quite a number of uh, functions in this camera. And uh, so that has been camera number 105 of 365.